Hey. Oh, rock a cheek. Hello there. I don't know what you've heard, but lately there has been uh, a lot of violence here in Ecuador, uh, particularly in Guayaquil and in the Esmeraldas uh, uh, province. Guayaquil is in the Guayas province and Esmeraldas is in the Esmeraldas province. I think it's a little town called Esmeraldas, but anyway. There's been a lot of violence and it's been on the news and it's all over the news. I got an email today from one of our subscribers who gave me some links to some news reports about the violence here in Ecuador. Several weeks ago I did a video about the STEP program. That is the, it's a program where you can sign up with the State Department and let them know where you are, where you're going. If you're leaving the country and going to another country and how long you're going to be there, whether you're going to be there permanently or just temporarily or it's a good idea to register with them and let them know you know who you are contact information you know uh, survivor information and so forth people that need to be contacted in case something happens to you but more importantly if you register if you sign up for the step program you can receive email updates from the state department in reference to stuff like what's going on right now with this violence the one I got yesterday reads as follows. Security alert. U.S. Consulate General Guayaquil, Ecuador, November 1st, 2022. The event is the government of Ecuador declared November 1st a 30-day state of emergency for Guayas and Esmeraldas provinces in response to ongoing coordinated attacks by transnational criminal groups and, and local gangs. The order permits the government to increase police presence in the affected provinces and imposes a daily 9 p.m. curfew each night. Violent attacks on police and public spaces in Juarez and Esmeraldas provinces continue. We urge you to remain vigilant, avoid public and crowded areas and venues, and closely monitor the situation for updates. They listed some bullet points here. Please take the following action. Exercise extreme caution and maintain increased vigilance in Guayaquil and Esmeraldas. Be aware of your surroundings and avoid large uh, gatherings. Limit travel to daylight hours. Monitor local news for updates. Keep a low profile. Enroll in STEP to receive security updates. If you remember, I did a video two or three weeks ago about STEP. I'm going to leave a link to the video in the description below. I'll leave a link to the STEP website where you can go and register. Folks, just do it so you can be informed and be kept up to date on what's going on. It's, I encourage everybody to sign up for it. You know, just go in there and just give them your name and just, just, just answer the questions that they ask. I know some people are going to come back and say, you know, I, I don't, it's my business, my privacy. I don't want anybody to know where I'm at, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's fine. You know, don't do it, you know. But I'll, I'll, it, what, it, another, I'll get it right here in just a minute. This is what happens when you get old. <laughs> you try to talk to a camera. Um, I received an email from one of my viewers today. He listed several different sources of news information. I'm going to put links to those in those news sources in the description. Uh, check them out. You can read a lot of the news reports about what's been happening. There's been some pretty horrendous crimes taking place. Police officers have been assassinated, people have been beheaded, people have been hung, and all kinds of bad things going on. And it's all because of these gangs and these these hoodlums, you know, and um, I'm sure a lot of it's drug-related and so forth, but I don't know. And so anyway, I'm going to do updates on an as-needed basis just to kind of keep you informed and how it might be impacting you uh, here, if you're traveling to Ecuador and you're coming into Quito and then going from Quito to either Manta or to Cuenca, I don't think you have much to worry about, at least not as of right now. If you're coming to, if you're flying into Ecuador and you're flying into Guayaquil, 
if you take a ride, if you need a ride to Quink or to Monta, I encourage you to get a private driver. If you can't do that, it may be too late to get one. I don't know when you're coming. You may want to reschedule your trip. I would wait until things are better or just cancel altogether. This happens from time to time. It's a well-known fact that Waikil is kind of a dangerous place to be. Lots of violence there, a lot of crime. Uh, if you're just going to, if you have to come into Waikil to get to Monta, like I said, get you a private driver. Don't get on a bus. I don't think you should. Uh, you might be okay once you get out of Waikil and you're headed to Monta. It's in the city of Waikil that I'm worried about. So anyway, that's the update I have for you. Look at this description, folks. Read the description. Look at the links in there. Uh, it's all important stuff, okay? And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. You can send me an email if you want. And as usual, if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, well, I don't care if you like this video or not. Stay tuned, okay? I'll keep you posted. And I'll keep you informed as best as I can. Uh, until then, ciao, ciao.